Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Brick Girlfriends. Welcome to the Corner Girl. If you haven't already, make sure you like. L-I-K-E, like. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, girl. And make sure you turn on that little bell notification so you can be notified when I post a video. So as you saw by the title of this video, I am going and talking about TNT Beauty. Well, what's TNT Beauty? TNT Beauty is my business, my baby, my company. TNT Beauty was started, and I did this a little talked about this in my very first video here on YouTube. Oh my gosh, um, my very first video video here on YouTube, um, about me video. So if you want to check that out, I'll um have it in the description box below. But if my very first video here on YouTube, like I said, I talked about um, my a little bit about my business. My business is called TNT, which is the initials of my sister that died. Me and my sister was like this. And um, so she is the reason why I'm in to hair and makeup, honestly. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory about my business. And then we're going to be testing out five of my grenade kits. So if you've purchased five of my grenade, like if you've purchased my kits, thank you. Um, but this is a video on how to use my grenade kits. Um, so there are... Hold on, y'all. These I, they, they've been sitting here since I did my doing my makeup. So there are five of them. These are my kits, and they ha all have numbers. And as you can see, each number has the shade of what's inside. And we have number ten, number seven, number two, number eleven, and number twelve. And they all have names. I'm gonna place the names on the screen, but I'm also gonna go over the names um, when I'm doing uh, while I'm doing this video. So. Um, I also, I have my personal ones, which it looks like a missing one or a dropped one, which is, okay, yeah, I think I'm missing one. So let me find the one I dropped. Oh no, here it goes. So I have five of my personal ones and these for, you know, on the site to sell, which I have plenty, plenty, plenty. But before we get into these um, lip, um, these grenade kits, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my business. My business, like I said, is named after my sister that died. If um, makeup, I wouldn't have got into hair and makeup if it wasn't for her. I used to do a lot of practicing on my sister. Um, I got into makeup when I was about, I'm 30, I'm about to be 33 this month. I, I'll, I got into makeup when I was about 13 14 and the reason being is because i suffer from dark spots so i wanted to cover my dark spots i used to always wear long sleeves which i still do because of my dark spots i have them on my arms and i have them on my face and i don't know if that's just something like a good i don't know that's like where i have them at um anywhere else in my body i don't i just have like my moles got i'm very prominent too um i have a lot of moles um so when I was about 13, 14, my sisters both started um, selling Mary Kay. And I really wanted to, well, I might was a little bit older. I probably like 15, 15, 16. And I really wanted to start um, selling Mary Kay because everything my sisters did, I wanted to do, child. And um, I couldn't, I had to be 18 years old to start. So my sisters was gonna wait till I did. And when I, um, so my mom, had bought um some Mary Kay and I started using it for my um as makeup so that's how I kind of started getting into makeup and at that time I was just wearing foundation um I really didn't care for like eyeshadow um lashes not was not a thing then um mascara was the thing then and I really didn't wear mascara, so I really just started with like foundation and maybe a little bit of concealer. And I would never use brushes. I will always use my hands, y'all. Like I will always apply my makeup with my hands. Um, so that was the thing right there, applying makeup with your hands. So um, then as I've got, I got older and started um, 
like when I got about almost turning 18, my sister took me to one Robins to meet with the, the lady that sold Mary Kay. And um, they got me signed up and bought me my first kit. Um, in my first kit, I was supposed to have a class. Like with Mary Kay, you're supposed to have a class that you host and you sell your Mary Kay products from that box. So you can make back the money that you you know that you um just spent so they bought my first kit and i did not sell or host one class i was so shy and scared so no i use all those products on myself so then i started playing it into eyeshadow and from then it's just been kind of history um i still was into makeup as i got older i would wear like foundation and mascara and eyeshadow but i never would wear blush either um so or lipstick i was more of a lip gloss girl and so finally um i got older and i started really getting into makeup i was probably about in my 20s 21 maybe like well 21 22 when i ran around the age when i got married and i really started getting into makeup and i would practice makeup on my sister a lot she would be my practice model i miss her i miss her so much um because we would talk and we would be up all night and talking child took me forever to do makeup and then we i finally got into hair and i would do sew-ins and all that good stuff and on her and it was just it, it was she it was it was just nice um she as i've had gotten older my niece went to prom my nieces went to prom i did their makeup and she was like well, why would you just start a business i wasn't even confident in myself to start a business so i just liked it doing it so i wasn't really like comfortable with like i wasn't comfortable with like doing that i, I wasn't comfortable with uh starting a business at that like in my 20s um i feel like i, I should have because i uh, i mean i would be where i think i would want to be in my business now but i didn't um i feel like before you start a business you have to believe in yourself so if you don't believe in yourself then there's no way you can start it um my um cousin which is slash one of my close um friends as well she really believed in me as well and she just thought like that was a, I went to her one day about selling eyelashes and she thought it would be great thought I'd be good at it and I still didn't do it I really took some years uh it was not until my sister actually died she died in 2020 it wasn't until she died that um she bought died March uh 20 I think it was March because my anniversary is March 26 March 29th 2020 I think it was the 29th um and um yeah so i after that i i definitely wanted to do a business and like i said back then i didn't even though i had the thought of business wanted to sell lashes i didn't even have a name but tnt was the name i went with i was like oh that, that would be perfect so it's her initials tequila natasha towns i'll put it somewhere on the screen that's her name that is where tnt comes from and beauty because it's a beauty company um so that's a little backstory of tnt beauty if you want to know more details check out my website www.tntbeautybybrittanytaylor.com and i have a whole little paragraph on back history i am doing some little things to the website just to make it a little bit more funner and prettier like my personality it's not set in stone um i thought it was but i guess as i grow my business will grow as well but yes so we are going to be going over these grenade kits i'll put the name on the screen if you're interested in purchasing uh the actual name of the kits i'll put them on the screen and when i go over each color and each kit um yeah I'll, um, I'm going to be trying them on on my face, my little beat face for y'all, and we're going to be getting into it. So I feel like there's nothing to it but to do it. So let's just really get into it. So these kits were the very first thing, very first thing that um, I brought. Was it? Was it? Yes, it was the very first thing I brought um, as um, onto my business. 
like as the lip product so i feel like they haven't got any love that they needed to get because they are bomb not bomb. they are like amazing so um i'm gonna wipe it off because it's got powder and stuff on it don't worry if you order for me i'm a very clean freak so i desanitize and sanitize these i sanit desanitize i sanitize everything so don't worry girl it's gonna come to you in a cute packaging and crude and nice but i am in the middle of changing packaging so i'm gonna say this really quick before i get into this i am in the middle of changing my packaging from red black and white so if you order from me now you're gonna receive the red black and white packaging but in the future you'll be receiving my new pink purple rainbow uh, rain packaging my business is now um i wanted to change it even though it's named after my sister which i started with the red black and white um i wanted to it reflect my personality and i love weather i love the rain i i am obsessed with rain I'm, i love butterflies i am obsessed with butterflies so i came and came up with this idea to continue to keep it as tnt beauty but to just change the color and the scheme of how i wanted to do it so now you'll get a lot of things in anything pertaining to weather um so yeah so like i said the up the website will be updating because i have to change it to what i feel fit and once i feel it here then i know it's the right thing to do so we're gonna go into these kits i am gonna start with the i think we'll start with the lighter shades and move to the darker shades because if i start with the uh darker shades and move to lighter than child okay we not gonna do that so my lightest shade in this kit is um two the number two it is date night this is one of my favorite shades i will be wearing this shade uh friday my husband's going on a date friday um for movie and dinner and i'm gonna be wearing this date night shade it comes um with the number on it and i am gonna open it up for you so you can see but it comes with a lip liner which is in the same shade with my name on it. it says Brittany Taylor and then the sticker for the number I mean for the shade what for the shade um for the kit and then it also comes with the liquid uh, lipstick I won't be opening this but this is what it looks like you can tell it's never been opened even though the packaging the back box has been sitting up here and got a little beat up so all right so we're gonna be doing number two and i don't know where my lip liner is because i typically have used all of them up so and i keep them right here so i only think i look like if i have what number is number 11 so i'm gonna just use a regular brown liner because the only thing i have in my personal is number 11 i'm not gonna go in my kits and get it out but so I'm gonna line my lips. With the brown. In the kit though, the lip liner is the color of the lipstick. I, I, what I do, and I'm just going to keep it honest, I always use a brown, but I also use the liner, and I use the liner to not use so much of the liquid lipstick, and I'll use the, my shade of liner in the inner, and then use the lipstick, but I don't have it, so I got to use the lipstick, and these dry down extremely fast, fast, what? extremely fast and they're very very pigmented and this is the shade date night it's very nice on the lips it's so smooth like i said they dry down matte so this is two this is what's on my lip like it's almost like completely dry down just a little bit of payoff coming off but it's almost completely dried down and I'm just letting it do its thing
And now I just take that brown liner and this is like the perfect perfect nude I'm gonna put a little bit more on the corners on the inner side Like, this is how it would look without a liner. So, let it dry down. It smells like, I don't know, uh, to me it smells like a perfume. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But it smells really nice. If you don't want a strong scent on your lips, this doesn't have a strong scent at all. It smells like... No, it just has very, I don't know, it just has a, a very light scent. I don't know what it smells like. But these are vegan and cruelty free. And this is what a nude, my number two in date night. I'm going to put it on the screen, date night. Now, if you're not like into matte lipsticks, and I have this on the website, and I don't know if people understand it. But this is how you use that number two date night, just like so. And I take my Dream Bubble Clear Gloss. Now, it's not clear now because, baby, I be doing this all the time. And get that perfect... You know how you see those girls now with that brown liner? And that perfect nude. This is literally instantly can be turned into not a matte look and just reline your lip. And girl, get into it. Let me um, take this off the thing and so you guys can really see it before I move on to the next color. This is what it looks like. I feel like your makeup looks so different from different angles, but this is what it looks like. Date night, a brown liner. It does come with a liner, but the liner is in the shade that it comes in, like the color of the um, liquid lipstick with the Dream Bubble lip gloss. If you're looking for a lip gloss, this Dream Bubble gloss, and it smells like, they're infused with shea butter, so it smells like it smells like shea butter with coconut. I know it smells good, but um, if you don't like that smell, then I don't advise you to do the gloss. Um, but if you don't want the lipstick to be matte and you want more of a look like this, then try this combo together. That's how I wear date night. I sometimes wear date night by itself, just like with the brown liner and the liquid lipstick and the um, liner that comes with it. And sometimes I'm in the mood for glossy. I think on this Friday coming up, with depending on what, like, what I'm wearing, I actually probably go for this look. This is what it looks like. Date night, baby. Good for a date night. This is why I call it a date night because it's a perfect nude for a date night. All right, so I'm going to put you guys back on the um, little thing to prop you up. Hold on. Right, she got me some tissue. My next shade is the next. Okay. My next shade. Just pat. Oh, I'm just patting my lips so it, you know, won't be. So you guys can actually see. Okay, my next shade is number seven. It, it also comes with the same thing, a, a lip liner, but like I said, I don't have it. Only one I'm gonna use it for is number 11 because it's the only one I have. I could have swore I had number, um, other numbers, but yeah, I be using my products. I love my products. They are just bomb.com. Anyway, this one's also vegan and cruelty free. It's the number seven. It is called um, Full of Roses on the website. 
it comes in the same packaging keep in mind this packaging will be changing but right now this is the packaging you will be getting this will be much prettier much pinker much more Britney I promise you but as of right now please be patient with me as I rebrand 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 this is the number seven liquid lipstick this is the one I just opened and this is the li liner what this is the liner that comes with it number seven and we're gonna do the same thing so you guys can see the difference now number seven is another one I wear quite often as well full of roses and same thing we're gonna take a brown liner I'm gonna use this liquid one should I use a liquid one yeah I use a liquid one and line the lip okay number seven 15t beauty y'all i'll be going in on my own stuff y'all i really need to buy my own buy me some more this one's really, really pink. So if you're like into like a more pinkish nude, this one be funny. Uh, this one will be. All right, so this is shade number seven. Like I said, full of roses. And this is what it looks like. Matte. Dries extremely fast. Vegan, cruelty free. And girl, I got the best part of how much it costs at the end once I tell y'all. So if you want it not matte like this, Look at that coverage. Look at that pigment. Then you can take your gloss. Clear Dream Bubble Gloss. And there you go, sis. There you go. So if you're more into like a pinkish, nudish pink, light pink on the lips, I would go for Full of Roses. If you want more like a mauve, more lighter actual light nude i will go for a date night but this is what it looks like now we're gonna move on to the next shade wipe it off fix the lip So we're moving, I think I just said that. So we're moving from light to dark. So I'm gonna go with the um, next shade, which is Gale. This is a really, really pink, pinky, pink, pink lipstick. Um, like I told y'all, I do have the liner, my personal liner for this one. Literally, I just had it, okay. Now, this is my liner. This is my lipstick. You can see it's oh i've had it for quite some time but girl it does what it needs to do so that's all we needed to do so for this one i kind of just like to wear it as it is i'm not gonna add a brown to it i'm like what am i putting on my lips nothing because it keeps rolling back down in there Now the liners, I they are like you have to roll them out like this. So I wouldn't roll them out too far because they will break. They easily break. Oh, oh, girl, you see how I just did that? I rolled it out too far, man. I know I hear him. My dog's out there barking at somebody. He's outside. If he wasn't a like a regular dog that just didn't bark. I would be worried or concerned, but Shadow just barks, just to bark. The wind blows and he barks. Child Leaf can fly by. He barks. Shadow is crazy, child. So this is just a lip liner by itself. And now this is the lipstick and it's gonna be really pink. 
this is Gail. I'll put it on the screen. Also for the Full of Roses, I'll put that on the screen and the last thing that you saw. But if you're looking for like a nice, pretty pink lip for the summer, and you're not afraid of pink, try this one. Mm, mm, mm. Us melanin girls can wear pink too, y'all. Don't be scared of it. So I don't think I took full of roses off camera so you guys can like actually see what it looks like. Like when I picked that up for the date night and put it on, but I do have a video up on my Instagram. So it's TNT Beauty underscore 40 if you want to see what um, full of roses look like on the um, lip the other way you know what I'm saying like the actual because it looks just weird for you to recording this way the long way I flaunt it this way just go that so this is what go looks like I'm gonna take it off the um, holder and I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like so this is Gail pretty pretty pink y'all Like, girl, who said we can't? Who said? Who said it? Like, this is the perfect shade of pink. Like, I was thinking about my mom and and girls. Right when we wear pink, so. This is her. She's available on the site right now. Go check her out. This is how I wear her. This is how she should be used. She is matte. If you want her glossy, do the same thing I did with date night and full of roses. Add the clear gloss to it. But this is what she looks like matte. Okay. You guys comment down below which one is your favorite shade so far. To make it easier to remove off my lips, this is a matte lipstick. And I'm going to go in with the gloss. This is what she looks like, glossy. So now she looks like one of like a regular lipstick, don't know. What do you think? That's why I say go in with the gloss. I even have that on the website. So make sure you like check in the description box. Now, as the darker they get, the harder they are to come off. <laughs> I am not lying. They come off they are really hard to get off. So Since this has shea butter in it, it'll help remove it. That's a little trick. See? Voila. Get on the rash. Now. We've already done, what, three shades? So we have two more left. We've done Gail, we've done Date Night, and we've done Full of Roses. These are the three Mama. shades. Mama. Hmm. I see. Now we're gonna do Ruby. I named this one, actually, little backstory. I named this one after my mother-in-law, and this one's I'm named after my mother. My two favorite girls. So um, this one's number 12. It's also number 12 on the website. It's going to come in the same box. When you open your box, you're going to see the liquid lipstick and then get the liner. Now, I'm not using this particular one on my lips. I just want to show you guys the packaging. And like I said, it is changing. So, if you just like go went past everything else I said in this video, this packaging will be changing to pink. So this is Ruby. Now the reason why I chose this shade Ruby for my mom is because my mom loved dark purple lipstick. I wish I would have went even darker. So my next shade of dark, and I thought this would be darker. To me, it does darken up once it's on the lip, but for the most part, it's really, really just like a purple. Like don't get the gel and the Ruby mixed up. This is pink. This is purple. You'll be able to tell when you put it on. 
Um, once Ruby dries down, I'm gonna add one more coat and then, yeah. So a reason why I chose, like I said, for Ruby is my mom's favorite color is, um, well, she likes very, very dark purple lipstick. So I chose this shade for her. So as you can see, it's went on, it started to darken up than what's in the bottle. Now it's not this dark, which I would wish it was, but don't worry, I am coming out with one that is like dark, dark, deep, violet purple. And if you can guess what I'm gonna name her, comment down below, girl. All right, so this is her. She's dry just that fast. I'm gonna add one more coat to just kind of darken her up. <coughs> this is Ruby, like I said. I'm gonna put the name on the screen. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Look at there. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so I'm gonna let her dry down, but I'm going to turn so you guys, uh, like take the camera off again and so you guys can see how it looks. Like close up. So this is Ruby. This is her. She's, yes, I told y'all she's darkening up. She also comes with that same color liner. And this is what she looks like as she sits on the lip more. She does darken out more, but this is what she looks like on the lid. This is how I would wear or wear her. Um, but yeah, when I'm into like a colored lip, this is what I would go with. I usually stay easy on the eyes and go um, crazy on the lips or either go crazy on the lips and then easy on the eyes. But this is her. Named after my mom. Smells amazing. They're going to be very hard to get off just like before so lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss they're really <laughs> y'all i'm telling y'all these things are oh i'm wasting alcohol and i did girl i'm gonna waste all my alcohol up here well at least i have something to do sometimes but they are hard to remove Lipstick is Love of Fire. This is number 10. Same thing, it comes in the box. And with number 10, I'm gonna show you guys how I wear it, okay? Because I, this is how I wear it. So I'm gonna take something black. I will take a black liner. Something black. make it darker my lips are hurting after all this ciao number 10 comes same thing with the liquid um lipstick and the liner and this is red red like a very very siren red to me this is why it's called love of fire because baby Period. Now, if you if you're bold, girl, you can wear it by yourself. But baby, ain't that bold with reds? And I have a perfect red gloss that can go on top. But I'm gonna see if I have it up here to put on. So, if you see me wearing a red lip, it's always going to be something TNT Beauty, majority of the time. So this is Love of Fire. If you wonder uh, what Love of Fire looks like, if you've seen it on the side and you're like, what does it look like on the lip? This is what she looks like. 
I'm probably gonna put another coat on, but I'm gonna lift the camera up again for the last time. And we're gonna keep this one on. I'm not taking this one off, y'all. No, my lips hurt from taking the darker. Like, that's why I start with lighter shades. They're easier to take off. But Ruby and Gale are hard to take off. And Love of Fire. So, Love of Fire will be staying on the lips. Hold on. This is Love of Fire, girl. Fire, I am closing out today's videos. Those are all my grenade kits. I want to wear them, got what wear them for you girls and so you can see how they look at short on the lips and show you guys how i actually use them if you're interested like i said in purchasing them go to www.tntbeautybybreedingtaylor.com and guess what they're only nine dollars i'm currently having a 15 percent sale to um use so at checkout you have to use the promo code let, let me double check before i give you guys the promo code hold on one sec all right so i did just double check the promo code is summer fun s-u-m-m-e-r-f-u-n summer fun the s is capital um it is 15 percent off but you must spend 30 dollars you know i am a businesswoman, so i gotta make sure you know um that i get something you know so but i did want to give you guys something so those are my lip um grenade those are my grenade kits um they are nine dollars um regular price and like i said 15 percent off use that promo code if you have any questions like or concerns feel free to message me or email me or whatever the case may be whatever you feel comfortable with doing you can also go to the website and send me a chat to chat with me and thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys if you've supported my business thus far i love you i look forward to making so many different many more videos in the future um so stay tuned also i will link down below the first two videos i posted today one was me doing this makeup look so if you're interested in how i like getting ready with me i um just did a get ready with me but if you want a full makeup tutorial please let me know of this look and i will do that for you of the products that i actually used in the video but to get ready with me i'll put that down below but also um for hair i did a separate video as that for what to what i did a separate video for that as well it'll also be in the description box below so yeah any questions oh and like i said in the beginning of the video um to get to know me the first video ever on youtube that i did will also be down below so all three videos will be down below thank you so much make sure you guys like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you turn that little bell notification so you can notify when i post a video thank you so much for watching i love you i love you i love you and until next time stay sweet bye guys being loved and treated differently, yeah But something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pages Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my